Hey YouTube, it's Misha Harvest Nails once again and I wanted to show you some stuff that I was, you know, playing with the other day and was seeing, you know how those mirrors, um, um, the mirror nail polish, I mean, powders they've been coming out. You know, some of us don't have the money to buy those type of mermaid powders or glitters or whatever the case is. So I decided to play. I mean, I didn't. I didn't bring this up. I, I seen it also on YouTube. It was a Spanish lady that I bumped into on YouTube. I do not know her name. I was just looking other ways to do the mirror um, powder thing. So I have these um, Pearl X that I have bought from Michaels. You could get these at Michaels, okay? And this is the color I came out with. Look at that. So that was that from a Pearl X. And then I started using these eyeshadows. I know everyone has them. They're like from the dollar store and they come with these little things and they're like pots. Let me show you the little pots. I shouldn't have it, but these little LA pots right here. What I do with these LA pots, I cut this out which you can tell right here and I pop the lid because it does come out a lot look at that ladies and this is a whole bunch of products inside this eyeshadow see that if you want to know how to pop that out let me know in the bottom and I will show you how to take this out so you won't lose any products okay and it's good to save these little pots um, another thing you can vent you can also invent <clears throat> Um, use one of those silicones or whatever like for a stamper as well and this is super cool because I have the top or you could use this as a stamper or whatever the case I was just thinking about stuff but yeah so I put all that product in there and this is what I came out with with that one this is from there from your eyeshadow okay I know it looks a little crabby I was just playing with it okay so that's from this eyeshadow right here then the next one I did, I did this like this gray one right here. And this is the way it came out. It came out really nice, like a dark. See that? So, that one. And I also had another um, um, Perfect Pearls. That's what it's called. And this is Sour Apple. And this is also a pigment. Okay. And this is the way it came out. Oops, sorry. This is like... Okay. So that's that one. And then um, I made two other ones, but I just don't know where is that. I know it was a pink one that I had made. And it turned into this purple one. See how pretty is that? Turned out to this purple one. And then I made another one, which is a gray one. And it came out like this. Okay. All you would need is some black gel. This is the one that I have. I got this off of Premier Nails. I think they had a sell for a dollar a long time ago. So this is the black gel that I have. Okay. So I used that. And I also used this top coat that I had laying around because I was just plain. It's a so cool. They advise you to use one non-sticky, which you don't have to wipe. But that's what I use. So basically, all you have to do is, for your nails, I got one here plain. Well, basically, it's not plain, but um, it is already coated in black. So all you have to do is is paint it, put a top coat on it. After you're done with this and curing it for two minutes in the lamp, you're gonna use a top coat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just show you one. So you're gonna put that top coat on it and you're gonna cure it as well. Okay. So I'm gonna let this cure and I will be right back. Okay, now I'm back, now it's cure. Okay, they tell you to take out the sticky layer. Um, 
but they also advise you to have a, a non-sticky jar, right? But if you want, instead of putting alcohol and taking that sticky layer, grab a, a lint-free whatever you have so it won't have no hairs. And you're going to start wiping it. Wiping it. Just to take out that sticky layer. I'm not using no alcohol to take it out. I know that you use alcohol to take out that sticky layer. But in this case, I'm not going to do it because I want that full effect. So the one I'm going to be using is this green one. And I have these makeup sponges for a long time. So I'm just going to dip in my makeup, you know, sponge as like that, as you can tell. And just a little dip. And um, I'm just going to wipe it on it. You see, as you can tell, the trans is coming on. Okay. And you really got to rub into it so it could just take the color so I can make it into that mirror okay okay so I'm gonna leave it like that and then they advise you to put a top coat but as you can tell there it goes okay and then the top coat of my choice will be this one and I'm just gonna put it up and that's it I'm not even gonna cure it right now I'm just gonna show you how it looks with the shine Now everybody knows they have to cure it for two minutes in the lamp or UV. And this is the way it looks. I hope you like and enjoy. And I hope you try it out and play around. Because like I say, some ladies do not have the money to buy these mermaids um, powders. But, you know, grab some of your stuff around and play with them um, with your pigments too because you could also do it from your pigment. I have a palette and I tried it with my palette as well. And I also, you could also use these, a black brown, I mean the black background will bring it out more. But you could also use a white background and what I did with the white one, I'm going to show you right now which, eh. I did it with a pink one and a silver one as you can tell. But you could also do it and have that effect as well. But this one came out like kind of crabby. I didn't like it. So, yeah. So, yeah. You could just use your background. And I have this one. This one was a gold one that I tried out. And it turned out to be just like that. These two look the same. But they're not. They they are two different ones. So, so yeah, ladies. Grab around. You know, like your makeup. You know, like your makeup palettes. And, um... Makeup palettes, um, these Pearl X, like I said, you can find them in Michaels. They're like a, a, a season one, season two. I have season one and season two. I mean, stage one and stage two, that's what they are. Um, all I'm missing is stage three, and I cannot wait to go to Michaels and get it after I started playing around with these. And these pigments, you can also get them. These are like eyeshadows and whatever the case is, and... Like I said, you could even use your LA Colors eyeshadow, which is this one that came out like that. And it came out so pretty. It's this one right here. As you can tell. Oh, I just put it in there. Sorry, guys. But yeah. Yeah, yeah I get the grip, right? It just comes out really, really pretty. So, um, I'm just saying, like, play around with your pigments. And I think the thing about it is, oh, and I did like a... a, a double color one this was for my eyeshadows I just didn't put no um top coat on it but this was eyeshadow one so all I'm trying to say is play with your pigments and if you have these um pigments these are the pearl X, like I said you could manage and do some mirrors on your own like you don't have to spend so much money I'm just wanted to hear and I just wanted to come here and share this with you and show you that you could do these things and oh one thing I think it should have shimmer like it has to look like shimmerish like this because I think you get a better effect you get a better effect on the um the mirror like or whatever so I, I think the pigments that have these little shimmer because that one has that shimmer and this Pearl X also has the shimmer, as you can tell, right? And then um, these have that um, shimmer as well. See that? 
and um this one too as well which is the prolex so i think the ones that looks like this those are the ones that you could do these um mirror likes on them but um i think the ones that solid colors i don't think you could do it the ones that do not have these maybe you could just to play around with it but i think these come out way better than the ones that do not have shimmer in them but this is something that I wanted to share with you. I did not come up with it. I seen it on, on YouTube. It was a Spanish girl. She did a palette one. And I was like, oh my God, I need to try it. And I did. And I started playing with some colors and to see. And um, yeah, this is another way. And like I said, the more important is, is to grab a black one. Because you see more effect better than the white um, um gel. And I use this one right here. But I think um, a black gel background is way better because it gives you that beautiful effect. Um, but if you want to try it in white, you could also do it. But all, always have the black one. Cure it two minutes. Take it out. Then make your little wonders with this. And then top coat it and cure it for two minutes and take it out. That's all you have to do. And before you cure it, I did not use alcohol to take out my sticky layer. Or I did use one of these little um, tissues that I have that they wipe um, litten free. And um, I wipe the sticky layer without putting alcohol because I think it gives you a better effect. Now, if you want to wipe it, it's not a problem as well. You could also wipe it and, um, you know, like, and, and clean the sticky layer with the alcohol. But I prefer it to do it that way to see. But, yeah. This is some little, you know, something that you could play with at home and have fun with your colors, with your pigments, like I said, with your eyeshadows, have fun. Because I am sure having fun with it and um, this is a good idea. And um, metallic, hey, you can't, barely, you can't even beat that, you know, like to make your own metallic um, glitters out of your pigments and your eyeshadows and... Whatever pigments you have laying around, just play with them. Because, like I said, I just did this because I know some of us cannot afford or whatever. So, don't be afraid to use what you have at home or the little tools you have at home. Because you don't have to have that much to do just this. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, I hope this helped a lot of you ladies out. Because it sure helped me out. I mean, come on now. Um, I am in the mission of looking for pigments. I'm going to the stores and going to Michael's and check out some other new pigments and play with them as well to find out what else colors I can make. Um, with that being said, ladies, now I'm saying what's later.